And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Boston Red Sox and the Chicago Cubs. Ladies and gentlemen. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Chicago. Go. Here's a speed threat. Gerald Raymond. And every at bat's a big one for him now as he looks to keep this amazing hitting streak going. Swings here and blasts one left field. Way back there. Off the scoreboard and out of here. A mammoth blast to right. A shot to left. The Red Sox score first. It's 1-0. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Jack Ferreira, the next Cub to hit. Three for six in the that series so far. Obviously a guy who makes yeah. good contact, Ferreira. hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Puts a bunt down. And that's an out on the sacrifice. Batting four. The first baseman, Garrett Fry. So digging in, Gerald Raymond. Leading the AL in batting average. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Hey, come on now. One time, right here. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Throw over to first, and he's back in safely. Cabral leads off first with two down to the inning. And that one fouled off. Gonzalez picks to first. Cabral back in standing. One one now. Up the middle. They take the force out. out. That ends the frame. And the Red Sox leave one. They lead four nothing. Man in scoring position with two away. Gerald Raymond now, now at the plate. The it's interesting. He plays Gerald. kind of a, a power spot Raymond. defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Count First pitch, on. not close. Shoot up and drive it, huh? Hey, your pitch, your pitch. He's coming to you. Kicks and deals. Swing and a pop up. And makes the grab. And that's the inning. Owen Casey, the next Cub to hit. He's 0 for now 1. Batting. Right fielder. First and second oh, here, no outs. Casey. Ground ball left side could be two. One at second. Relay to first, double play. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact. Base is empty with two away. Charles Swift, the next cup to hit. Charles Swift. Bounce to the left side. Raymond handles. On to first. Play made, that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. 
They still find themselves down six zip. Gerald Raymond, the next to hit. He's already homered in this game. Now batting the third baseman, Gerald Raymond. They wait for yours here. On the ground, right side. They get the force, and that's the third out. Top. Charles Swift, the next Cub to hit. Known for his rocket now arm behind the plate. The catcher. Charles Swift. That's the third. Raymond picks it up. In plenty of time to first. That ends the inning. Cubs strand a couple. They continue to trail 7 0. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's some real power at the plate. Gerald Raymond. The third base With this kind of lead, Gerald. he can swing freely. Try Raymond. to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Rosa back to work. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. And brings it in at the wall. Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're just a can't-miss ball club right now. And a 7-1 finish in this one. And the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew,